Today on Swordbox. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Jesus said in John 14, 18, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Welcome to Swordbox.org. Mickey continues his series on the Holy Spirit. Our verse for today is found in Romans 8, 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. You know, maybe you feel like God is distant from you. You're here and he's way out there in space beyond reach. That may be how you feel, but that's not true at all. You know, we know God is in heaven. And Jesus ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. So what about us? Who is with us? Are we on our own? Jesus said in John 14, 18, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. In verse 16, he said, I will pray that the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. He's talking about the Holy Spirit here. When we're saved, we are born again by the grace of God through faith. We are given His Holy Spirit to live inside of us. The very Spirit of God. Just like salvation, we can't earn this gift. It is a free gift from God. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 12 and 13, No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and His love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him, because He has given us of His Spirit. When we're saved, we're forgiven and declared righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. His Holy Spirit comes to indwell us. But we still have a flesh, worldly desires, passions, lusts, and old habits. And God knows that on our own we would never live a godly life. Just as on our own we could never be saved. From the day you were saved, the real warfare begins. It's not a matter of how much of the Holy Spirit you have in you, but how much of you the Holy Spirit has. Unfortunately, just like many people, many lost people, seek to get right by God by their works. Many Christians seek to live the Christian life without the power of the Holy Spirit or simply fail to submit to the Holy Spirit and find themselves in rebellion. And they find themselves in the discipline of the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 68, 6, the rebellious dwell in a dry land. You remember Jonah. God told him what to do and he deliberately disobeyed God and ran the other way. Straight into the belly of a very large fish. He ended up obeying God, but the rebellion cost him. We are to follow Christ by the power and leading of His Holy Spirit. We must refuse our flesh by the power and leading of His Holy Spirit. We must starve it, just like Paul said, I die daily. Romans 8, 5 said, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. So, then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. I'm going to continue talking about the Holy Spirit this week. I want you to know, if you are a born-again believer, you have the Spirit of God dwelling in you to give you power to live a godly life.